This is how you make the candles. For this project, you're going to need 100% beeswax pellets, along with a can or container that's tall enough to fit your candles that you will be making. You're also going to need some weighted candle wicks. You can put weights on these yourselves or buy them like I did. Your wicks should be about an inch longer than the candles you're planning to make. This step is optional, but if you'd like, you can add some extracts or essential oils for scent. You're going to need a pot of water that is large enough to fit your can or container. This is to make a double boiler. First, fill your container with beeswax. You're going to have to add more later as you make your candles so that it stays full. Now, put your container in the pot of water. If it floats, you can put some quarters in the bottom to keep it down. Turn the burner to medium-high heat and adjust it so the water stays at a gentle simmer. The reason you have to melt the wax in a double boiler is so that it doesn't burn to the bottom or light on fire. Stir your wax occasionally so that it melts evenly. I recommend using metal tongs to hold your container still while you mix it. If your wax isn't melting, you can turn up the burner heat. While your wax is melting, fill a cup with cold water. The water doesn't need to be ice cold. Cold tap water will do. This cup needs to be tall enough to fit your candle. Since wax is very hard to clean up, lay a sheet of parchment or newspaper under your cup to catch the drips. If you bought your candle wicks pre-weighted, you're going to have to straighten them out. Just gently pull each metal weight so that it's flat, just like this. Our wax is now melted, so we're ready to begin dipping our candles. Place your cup of cold water near your hot wax. This part is really easy and fun. Take your candle wick and just dip it into the melted wax a few times. Then dip it in the cold water and back into the wax. Gently straighten your candle between dips to keep it straight and continue this process until you have a nice thick candle. As your candle gets thicker, you may need to cut off extra wax, especially around the base. To do this, just use a small, sharp knife. Any wax cuttings can be reused. You can put them back directly into your hot wax or you can melt it down, which I'll show you how to do. If your candle starts to get bubbles or lumps or just isn't straight, it's a good idea to gently roll it with your hands. This will smooth and straighten the candle. After you roll your candle, you can gently rub it with a cloth to smooth it even more. I use my apron for this. Once your candle is thick enough, dip your candle in the wax upside down so that the wick gets a thin coating of wax. Just one dip is enough. You don't want it too thick so your candle won't light. Just enough to protect the wick. Trim any excess wax as well as the bottom to make it flat. Be careful when cutting wax off the bottom so you don't cut off your weight from your wick. Once your candle is finished, just put it in a cup of cold water and leave it for a bit. This will ensure that your candle is fully cooled and hardened. When you take your candle out of the water, it shouldn't be squishy or warm at all. If it is, put it back into the water. To speed up the process, you can add an ice cube to the water. The final thing you need to do is cut the wick. Cut each wick to about half an inch.
candle is now completely done, you can light it. This process does take a while, but it is very rewarding and fun.